Hey YouTube, Trey here, and I'm going to be showing you how to install a hard drive into your MacBook Pro. Uh, here's a couple of things that you're going to need. Um, of course, a MacBook Pro. Uh, I have an enclosure, some tools, of course, to take the Mac apart. Um, this enclosure actually came with these, so if you want these, there's a link below. Um, and then your choice of hard drive. I chose the Momentus XT, a 500 gig hard drive, which includes a 4 gigabyte SSD built into the same hard drive. It's pretty cool. I'll talk about it more. And of course, your handy dandy man. Now, it's very important that you have your operating system disk because otherwise, once you put this blank hard drive into your MacBook Pro, it's going to be blank. Um, you can get these from Apple, but, but pretty much they all come with your MacBook Pro, every, every single one of them. So, let's get started. You're going to need to remove all of these screws. Uh, with a small Phillips head, and there's about 10 of them total. So just make sure you don't miss any of them, and it pops right up. That was easy. Now with the screws taken out, you just pull from the back, um, pulls right where the hinge goes. Now here's the hard drive up close. There's a, a little plate where it has two screws that you're going to have to unscrew before you can take the hard drive out. So let's do that really quick. Once you take them out, it pulls and lifts right up. And make sure you save this, do not lose this. This gives you the stabilizer for the hard drive. That's very important. All right, now just pull the tab here. This just pulls and lifts the hard drive out really nicely. Make sure we save that pull tab for the new hard drive. We'll pull the, the SATA cable off now. Uh, what goes right off, really nice. Very simple, smooth. All right, next is swapping out the hard drives. Main thing we're here to do. So this is the Momentus XT. Main reason why I picked this is it is a bigger hard drive. Uh, it wasn't very expensive, and another key feature is that it has four gigabytes of SSD built into it. What does that mean? It allows you to run programs that you normally run on a normal basis or operations that you do on a daily basis a lot faster. It puts all that memory into 4 gigabytes instead of spacing it out all over the 500 gigabytes. So that's pretty cool. We're going to see how that actually feels and does uh, while we're using it. So here we go. Alright, so I did run into a small problem. As you see here, this is the Apple hard drive and this is not a Phillips head screw. But luckily enough, I figured out how to get it off anyway. So here's another tip. So we're gonna take this, and this is it sticks out pretty far, and we're gonna use a pair of pliers to pull them off. Now by all means, this is not the correct way to do this. Please, please, please do not hold me reliable to you accidentally dropping your hard drive or breaking your hard drive in any way. I just decided to go this way because it was faster. Alright, once you get all the screws switched over to the new hard drive, add the tab on there as well too so it's easy to grip and pull out if you ever want to upgrade again. Uh, we're going to attach the SATA cable back onto it and then slot the hard drive back into place. Alright, now make sure you reattach this. This is your stabilizer. Open in on the left, the full circle on the right. Fit it onto the screws and slide it back in nice and smoothly. Now just fasten down the stabilizer. Both sides of course. And that's it. Now just put the back back together. Make sure you screw all the screws back together.
Now with the hard work done, all we need to do now is install the software. Actually the operating system, but yeah, we'll, we'll get to that. In order to keep this video short, I'll show you how to install your old Mac hard drive into your enclosure. Next video. Um, but again, I do want to thank you for watching. Please do subscribe. If you do like, hit the like button down below. If you do have any questions, leave me in the comment box below as well too, and I will get back to you as soon as possible. Um, but again, thank you, and see you next time. Peace.